Hey everybody, welcome into this new video. In today's tutorial, let's take a look at how we can start creating our very first ad using Canva. And this is going to be directly for the Facebook Ads Manager. The one is going to be helping us to create our very first ad. Or if you just get it, you know how to create your uh, very first ads, I think that Canva is going to be helping us a lot to customize our own stuff. So the first thing to get started here and to creating your Facebook ads it's to have cause a Facebook account so once you have a Facebook account what you want to do is to have a ads manager account if you know how to already have all of that then we are good to go if you don't know that I'm gonna leave you a link down below in the description so you can check the specific video how you can get started into the ads manager into Facebook business and we can just move on right so once you do have an account what you want to do is to create your very creative assets like this one right but we want to do like something like a gif like an mp4 and for that I want to use this tool called Canva now Canva is gonna be helping me to create my very first um, design so what I want to do is to open Canva into a private browser so you guys know how it's going to be looking. So sign it up, it's totally for free. And of course I'm going to leave you a link down below so you can get started totally for free. Once you do have your account, once you do have this one already created, you might be having 30 days free trial just by signing up and you can use the Canva Pro version. It's not uh, necessarily like this is optional if you don't want to have an account a Canva Pro account it's totally fine but I'm gonna be using just a uh, few tools that are, are only available for the Canva Pro so you might want to take that in mind so what I want to do is to just verify my account really really easy so I'm gonna just go back into my email I'm gonna choose my specific custom code and after that I'm gonna get into continue and we can just get started so uh, what I want to do here is to go into join some teams if I want to. I'm going to hit into let's go like this. And what I want to do here is to actually create my very first uh, stuff here. So let's say for example I want to go into search to content on Canva. And here I want to tag different keywords Facebook and add. I want to start using a template so we're gonna choose Facebook ad so in here it's gonna be sending me into the custom template that I can free use in order to start in a specific ad so I do have the option to create a blank Facebook ad or I can choose in a specific template in order to get started so we do have different options to get started As you can see that the, there are different versions like a paid option a pro version and of course a free version if this one appears with nothing they are most likely to be totally for free so once you choose something that you like to see for example I'm gonna be choosing this one you want to go into customize this template and once you choose customize this template it's gonna be sending you into the edit section of Canva and we can start editing our own Facebook ad so now what I want to do here is that we can go into next next or even skipped so once I do have all my elements check it out how we have this squares this purple squares so I want to choose something specific like this one and I want to change that for my custom Instagram account and here I want to choose my custom website example.com right something like that and then I do have the healthy organic and delicious if I want to create like a small video for example uh, first of all what I want to do is to make some customization of my text so I think I think that this um, font is really great for me I'm gonna see if there's something else I think I'm gonna stick around with the leak spotted but I'm gonna go into effects and here into the style I want to choose something it can be more attractive like this and I want to change the color like for example something like this or even like this like more rather and here into this color I want to choose something exactly like I just uh, created and I want to move this 
a little bit more big enough like this and once I do have this one I want to edit this of course if I want to like have the same style there we go and I want to change that from the lift part like this a little bit more smaller I think like this I think we're good to go here and then if you want to edit an image you want to edit to upload your own image I want to go into uploads go into upload files and here I can choose my file that I want to upload. Once I upload my image, I just need to drag and drop. Really, really easy. Take a look here. You see, it's really, really easy. So once I've successfully done that, I can just start to make some quick animations to make some uh, things more interesting. So I can go into animate. Here into animate, I want to go into, let's say block or boost or skate. Or roll so I think this one fits for me and here I want to choose something like neon scrapbook and thumbnail and lastly guys if I think that this would be really interesting for me what I can do is to add a new page or duplicate this page and I can do something else so I think what I can do is to delete my image and here I want to create something like order now like that and I want to leave it like this and I want to put this into this size section like this I want to do just to do this really really easy and here into the role I want to change that for I think that I love the typewriter or now there we go so here I just want to go into spread or typewriter once again I can even change the time the speed but this is only for camera pro remember to use a camera pro and after you successfully done with that go into share go into download and here you want to choose mp4 video and then you want to choose all your pages and go into download it's really important that before you make it to the download you want to make sure that the title in here appears as you want to see it on your file so let's say I want to choose Facebook ad of December 2022 um, 1.1 so I'm gonna hit into share download and download once again so once I've successfully made the download it's gonna be appearing as the file named Facebook ad uh, December 2022 111 if you want to send this directly into your Facebook page, instead of just downloading that and import that into your Facebook ads, you want to go into share and here you want to go into the Facebook page and automatically it's going to be sending into your Facebook account. And that's how we can get started using Canva to create our very uh, first or different Facebook ads. Really, really simple guys. So hopefully guys, it was a very useful video for you. Don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel if you want to see more great tools about to start your Facebook ads using Canva. Thank you so much for watching the video and I will see you on the next one. I'll see you soon.